Hey guys, Jeffrey here with Cutting Edge Lawn Equipment. Today I'm going to show you how I do a hydro service on a Hydro Gear Transmission 5400 series. I'm going to do the service on this Skag Cheetah. So first guys, I'm going to show you what tools you need. Um, I got a, a inch and one eighth uh, socket for the caps of the filters. A pick to pull the filters out and um, depending on how you can get to your top caps um the screw that i'm going to show you guys you have to remove you can either use a quarter inch uh ratchet with the extension and a swivel and a 7 16th socket you can use a 7 16th uh ratchet wrench or if you do have a 7 16th uh stubby ratchet wrench um uh, it makes it a little bit easier especially if you have to get to your uh, little screws from the bottom instead of getting it um, from on top. You're gonna need two Hydro Gear OEM filters, uh, part number 71943, and you'll need uh, 10 quarts of oil. So the first thing you wanna do guys is get the mower securely uh, in the air to get access to the filters on the bottom. Um, make sure either way you get the mower in the air, it's nice and secure. So on a Hydro Gear 5400, you're going to have to remove this cap right here on both transmissions. And that's when you're going to use your engine at 1.8. Uh, once you remove this cap, your filter is going to be behind there. So we're going to go ahead and remove the caps. So once you remove the caps, you can see inside of there, it's the filter. You can either grab it out by hand or you can use a little pick to grab it. So for video purposes, I got the mower uh, super high up in the air so you guys can see underneath of here. Um, I am going to lower my machine down some. To make sure I get all the oil out of the transmission. So once your oil is drained out of your transmissions, you want to take these caps and the OEM filters come with a new O-ring here. So you want to take something, pop out the old O-ring. And install the new one. Once you install the new one, if you want, you can take some oil and put it on the surface of the O-ring. The filters have a hole on one side and close on the other. Make sure you put the filter in properly. It will only go in one way. Just line it up and push them on in. Once you got your filters in, go ahead and screw your caps on. And you can go ahead and tighten down your caps. Don't have to be extremely tight, just nice and snug. You don't want to over torque them. Now it's time to fill up the transmission. So to fill up your uh, 5400 transmission, this is, I'm gonna show you how I do it. There's probably a thousand ways to do it. Um, the most important thing is you remove the, the cap right by that hydro hose. That little 716 screw has to come out. The reason being is that's what escapes the air from the transmission. So when you fill up your hydro tanks, the fluid sucks straight down. And then you know it's full when fluid starts coming out of the pocket right there. 
by the hose. Now, depending on your motor manufacturer, um, depends on the way you get to that. So on a, I on this this gag, I loosened this tank. Um, but just I loosened the tank just to show you guys where the calf was exactly. Um, the easiest way to get to the cap on this machine would be from the bottom using a 7 16 wrench. Um, and I'll show you guys where, the, where that is from underneath. So if you see my hand, you can see the hydro tank hose coming down and that 7 16 screw is going to be right there. Like I said before guys, depending on the mower you're working on with these transmissions depends on how is the easiest way to get to that bleed line so i told you guys that depending on your mower manufacturer that it depends on if you have to remove them bleed caps on top of the transmission um i'm going to show you here on this unit here they have a hydro gear 5400 but when you do the hydro service, you do not have to pull them top caps. If your hydro tank has two hoses, the, this is a vent hose right here. And then here's the bottom hose for where the fluid goes. So when you fill the tank, the fluid goes down. If your tank has two hoses like this one, this one does, you do not have to remove them caps. It's gonna self ventilate itself so when you fill up the oil in here, it's automatically gonna go down fast and fill it up to the proper level. If you do do the hydro service and you'll know it's full is when you stop seeing bubbles uh, coming out of this tank. It will still take about five quarts each transmission. So that's a 10 quart total that you'll need. I just want to show you guys that um, depending on what mower man manufacturer you have, it does depend on if you have to remove them top screws or not. So once you pull your uh, your uh, caps on top of your transmission is when you want to start filling up your uh, hydro tanks. When you remove your caps, if there's any debris around here, make sure you do clean that up a little bit so we don't get any uh, debris inside our tanks. Now, a 5400 transmission, they take about 4.7 quarts per side. Um, so you're, that's roughly five quarts. So to do a full hydro service on both transmissions, you'll need 10 quarts of uh, oil. Uh, we use 20W50 uh, motor oil. They do not take hydraulic oil um once you remove your caps you just want to go ahead and fill up your tanks i just filled that tank up and you can see how fast it's going down and that's because we pulled these screws out on top of the transmission so once you get close to um putting five quarts of oil on each side I would slow down on the fourth one and watch this here and see if you get any oil coming out of there. When you do, that's when you want to put your cast back on and you just top off your hydro tank. So as you guys can see that my the oil is starting to come out of that cap. So my transmissions are full. So I'm gonna go down here and put them caps on. And that would take off. So once you put your uh, bleed screws back on there, I always top off my tanks a little bit more than uh, the cold line because after we run it and the mower sits a little bit, it's gonna take some more fluid just due to having uh, air bubbles. So now we're gonna put our caps back on. and I'm gonna uh, tighten my tank back down. And I just did that again, guys, just to show you guys the, uh, that screw that we had to remove. So once you have um, 
did the hydro service. We filled the transmission up with fluid. We put our uh, screws back on to them uh, breathe, breather ports, you could call them. Now we want to run the mower um, in the air and we're going to bleed the system. So we're just going to start it up. Just move our handles back and forth. Now I just, uh, you know, ran the mower off the ground. I'm gonna go outside and run it uh, for a little bit, make sure my hydros have no more air in them. And then once um, I'm done running it, I'll give the unit a good wash to make sure I get all that hydro oil that uh, ran down on the transmissions off of it. And um, then we'll check our hydro fluid. So when you're all finished up with your hydro servers, you want just a little bit of oil in them. There's a cold line right here. That's where you want your fluid. You don't want too much oil in here because when the oil gets hot, it'll rise and start spilling out of this uh, cap. So make sure when you're all said and done, um, that your hydro fluid is around this bottom line right here. Now though, being that we just did the hydro service, it's still gonna bubble down some and take some more oil, so. That's how you do a hydro service on a Hydro Gear 5400 series on a, a Cheetah. All right guys, thanks for watching, I hope, uh, what I showed you help you guys to do your hydro service on your own. Make sure you come see us at Cutting Edge Lawn Equipment to get the service you deserve. And make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. Thank you.